In this video, we are going to present the solution to question number 13 from the practice exam number two for math 2270. We're given a basis for R4, a non-standard basis. It contains four vectors, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 0, 0, 0, 1. Uh, you don't need to prove this as a basis. You can just assume it's a basis. And we have a vector B, 4, negative 2, 0, 1. And we need to show that little b, uh, well, we need to compute the coordinate vector of B. So to do this, we're going to take our basis B and augment it with the vector we're trying to find the coordinates for. Um, if this system turned out to be inconsistent, it would mean that little b cannot be expressed by the capital B vectors. But as it's a basis, we know it can. So we need to set up this matrix here. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, and 0, 0, 0, 1 augment it with 4, negative 2, 0, and 1. Like so, we need to row reduce this matrix. The solution of this matrix is going to give us our coordinate vector. Uh, we do have to show all of our steps here as well. So look at the first uh, the first pivot position. We need to get rid of one, all the ones below it. So we're going to take row 2 minus row 1, row 3 minus row 1, and row 4 minus row 1. So we get a minus 1, minus one, minus one. I'm gonna skip when there's zeros, minus four. And we're just gonna do that again. Minus one, minus one, minus one, minus four. Minus one, minus one, minus one, and minus four. So then the next matrix in this process here, the first row stays the same. Um, all the other rows change though. We're gonna get zero, one, negative two, zero, and negative six. Third row becomes 0, 2, 0, 0, negative 4. And then the third row becomes 0, 3, negative 2, 1, and negative 3. So check to make sure that works out great. Um, the next thing to do is we look at the next pivot. Uh, that's going to be the 2, 2 spot. That's already a 1, which is great. I want to get rid of the numbers below it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take row three and subtract from a two times row two. I'm also gonna take row four and subtract from it three times row two as well. So if we do row three minus two times row two, we're gonna get a minus two plus four, uh, that's a zero, and then we're gonna get plus 12 in that spot. For row four, we're gonna get minus three, we're going to get plus uh, six, there again, we add zero to, to one, that doesn't do much, and then you're going to get a plus here, because we're subtracting, you're going to get plus 18. Oops, like so. And so draw this down again. So the first row stays the same. The second row stays the same as well. The third row, we're going to get 0, 4, 0. In this case, you're going to get an 8. And then for the third row, you're going to get 0, 0. Uh, you're going to get 4, 1. And then you should get a 15. <clears throat> like so. Uh, so now my pivot moves down here. Like so. Um, I'm going to do two things at the same time. I'm going to take 1 fourth times row 3. Because I notice everything in row 3 is divisible by 4, in fact. And then I'm also going to take... I'm going to take row 4, subtract the current row 3. So I'm going to get a minus 4 and a minus 8 right there. And so copying down what we did there. First row, second row stay the same. Third row, like I said, I divided by 4. So I'm going to get a 1, a 0, and then a 2. And then for the third row, we're going to get 0, 0, 0, 1, and then we'd have 15 take away 8, which is 7. So we're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, we definitely are in echelon form now. We need to be working backwards. If you look at the last column, uh, this one's already perfect for row reduce echelon form. So we need to go here to our third column. Uh, we want to get rid of the numbers above that. So we're going to take row 1 minus row 3. We're going to take row 2 plus 2 times row 3. So we get minus 1 minus 2, and we're going to get plus 2, plus 4 in that situation. Copy down what you have. 1, 1, 0, 0, 
and then you get 4 minus 2, which is 2. You're going to get 0, 1, 0, 0, negative 6 plus 4, which is a negative 2. And then the next two rows are just identical to what they were before. And so then the last thing to do is when we look at the second column, we got to get rid of the one above it. So we're going to take row one minus row two. So we get a minus one right there, and we get a plus two right there. And so then our RREF, we're going to get one, zero, 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 one, zero, 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 one, zero, and zero, 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 one. That is the identity matrix, which we should expect right here. If we take two plus two, that's a four. We get a negative two, two, and seven. And so notice what we have here. The first coefficient in the linear combination should be four. The second coefficient should be negative two. The third coefficient should be seven. And the fourth coefficient should be, uh, the third coefficient should be two. And then the fourth coefficient should be seven right there. So then we have our answer, what we're looking for, the coordinate vector of B with respect to these B coordinates this is the vector, the first coordinate was four, the second coordinate was negative two, the third coordinate was positive two, and then the last coordinate was seven. If we have any doubt on whether this was correct or not, we can actually verify it, right? So notice if we take four times the first vector, which remember that was one, 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 one. Next, we should take negative two times the next vector, which was one, two, three, four. And then we get two times the third vector, which was, recall, one, negative one, one, negative one. And then lastly, we get seven times the fourth vector, which is zero, 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 one. When you try to combine these together, this looks like, if we put it all together, we're going to get four minus two plus two plus zero. That's going to equal four just like we did supposed to with B. The next one, we're gonna get four minus four minus two plus zero. That turns out to be negative two, just like B. Uh, the next one, we get four minus six plus two plus zero, which gives us a zero. And then the last part, we're gonna get four negative eight minus two plus seven, which that adds up to be one, giving us the vector B.